There's a lot of people who are wondering what's the difference between KDE Neon and Kubuntu. Well, the big difference is that they're both Ubuntu based and they're both KDE Plasma, but one is meant for daily drivers and one is meant for kind of like a playground testing of sorts. And Kubuntu is that daily driver and KDE Neon is the testing ground. If you take a look on the website for KDE Neon, it says that the user edition is ideal for adventurous KDE enthusiasts. That would describe me, but that is not the beginner type of user. So Neon is made to be a testing ground and it is great. That is great for that, but it's not a great option for the average user to use as a daily driver. However, the KDE team is working on something new for all of those people who want something to be a daily driver, and that is KDE Linux, a new Linux distro made by KDE themselves. Now, real quick, it's still in the testing stages, so this is the purpose of what it's going to be. It's not there yet, so you will need to wait until it's ready to do that, uh, but I'm very excited about this effort. So this is a really interesting distro as well because similar to Bazite and Bluefin, it has a read-only file system, which is also known as immutable in some sorts. Uh, I, it's not technically immutable, that's more complicated. It's, I, I like to call it immutable-ish. So it's immutable-ish based on Arch Linux. And although the immutability is uh, very different uh, to how Arch is typically used, so it's kind of, saying it's Arch-based is true, but for those who are expecting how it works a certain way, it's not going to be like that. Uh, but it's still an interesting effort. So KDE Linux is going to be using an AB image-based system, similar to how SteamOS works. So if there's an update, there's going to be going to the A version, and then if there's ever a problem, it can e easily revert back into the B side. So this is basically having two different systems that are parallel so that you can update and not have to worry about you know any kind of crash because if there is a crash it can just revert back to the other one and be good to go now it's only going to be wayland supported and app and distribution comes primarily from flat packs and snaps flat packs and snaps are not the only option you will also be having a distro box as an option that will be pre-installed allowing you to use containers for apps built on any distribution and uh, there's there's also a kind of a big caveat i think the biggest caveat is the lack of NVIDIA drivers for now. I'm not sure, well, not all NVIDIA drivers, but proprietary drivers. So if you're wanting to do some, some gaming on this system, they say at the very bottom, where is this part? Why is a proprietary NVIDIA driver not supported? They say it needs to be loaded as a kernel module. This can't be done at runtime because the base OS is immutable and it can't be pre-installed because that violates the terms of NVIDIA's license agreement. And if you need the proprietary drivers, then KDE Linux might not be the best option for you. Uh, if you are interested in learning more about the KDE Linux distro, you can find links in the show notes.